Well, Las Vegas has everything, glitz, glamour, and more star-studded sporting events than anywhere in the country. Now we're adding UNLV football into the mix. The 4-1 and one Rebels turn their focus to the Battle of the Fremont Cannon. Ready or not. Jalen Dixon is having himself a game for UNLV. Here I come. The Rebels are coming and turning up the heat for in-state rival week against the Reno Wolfpack. It's a dang big game, and uh, I'm excited to have the opportunity to take this team into that arena and go play. UNLV football has delivered week after week, scoring over 40 points in three consecutive games for the first time in school history, making them a top team in the Mountain West. Well, that means a boost to the program. Wide receiver Seneca McKee says this game will be a test for the team. No matter the record of the season, no matter the previous games, this game's going to be one of the hardest and one of the toughest games to play because everybody's going to play hard. Can the Rebels repeat and keep the cannon UNLV red? My suggestion is we'll get their absolute best shot. And what I tell our team is they're going to get our best shot. Emotions are sure to run high as the two teams battle for possession of the Fremont Cannon. Rebel linebacker Jackson Woodard says he's played in several rival games, but is expecting this one to be the biggest. Everyone takes it really serious. Um, you know, in the locker room, guys are telling me what it's going to be like, um, and I'm really excited to play and, you know, do everything we can to win. A win would not only allow UNLV to keep the college football's largest trophy, but move them within one win of qualifying for a bowl game. We can't be too high and we can't be too low, so we just have to stay even. Love those uniforms, too. The Rebels have won three of the last five games played at Mackey Stadium in Reno. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon.